Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Hagecraft PvP server. It has been a while since my last episode, so I have a lot of stuff to talk about. The first one being, we are saying goodbye to my old Hades army faction base. We had a lot of good times there. I set up the basics and some of you guys joined in, helped me build up a base, fight off the raiders. We actually ended up with quite an amazing base and we did get raided from the inside, which is a key point. And after getting raided from the inside, I realized we can't trust everyone on the server. So I've thought of a new method to get rid of those sneaky buggers and actually have a successful faction with the people who want to join. Now, you may be thinking, Hades, but you've, it's ruined, it's blown up. Every, there's millions of people in your faction already. That is why we are finding a new base. And if I type slash F who, I am the only one in my faction right now. We're going to be recruiting from scratch. That is right, guys. So if you want to join my faction now, there is only one way of doing it, and that is during my recording or my live streams. So if you watch my recordings, then you have to stay tuned and make sure you pay attention. If you watch my live streams, you also have to make sure you pay attention because I will be doing 1v1s with you, and if you win the 1v1, you'll be invited to the faction. I'll be doing um, person versus person battles with other players on the server. So if two people want to join, I'll get you two to fight each other. And the winner of that battle will get invited to the faction. I'll be recording these battles live and uploading them to my channel or on my stream. So that's, that's a pretty hard way to get into a faction. So hopefully if we do that and only people who are good at PvP get in, we will have the ultimate faction of PvPers and we will be able to demolish everyone on the server and actually jump into PvP and start doing raids. Because that was the problem with the last idea. Everyone joined, and I'm sure tons of people had a lot of fun over there, raiding bases and just fighting and making new friends. But this way, we can actually make some progress in the faction because a lot of people want to see raiding and group PvP, and I can't do that in my old setup. So that's why I'm moving it over to invite only if they win PvP battles. I think it's definitely a good change. And at the moment, I'm just running off into the distance to find a new base. Um, I'm going to leave the coordinates up on screen so anyone can find it this time. Because we're bringing it on. We're, we've got an A game on this time. What's that? Who would build? Who would go out into the desert and build that? Are you shitting me? Great house, bro. Great house. Alright, let's see what we got here. Slash F map. Now, this, see, you can tell that there's no factions in a long way all around this area. So this is perfect. I'm thinking we build right there, and I need to slash feed here for a second, there we go. Oh look, Hannah joined the server, welcome! I would say welcome in chat, but I'm actually hiding at the moment so I don't get spammed while I'm trying to do my intro, but here we go. This looks like a good spot, so I'm going to go slash F claim. I'm going to run over this way. I'm going to go slash F auto claim. And this should claim everything that I'm running across. So there we go, that claimed a new one, that claimed a new one. That should claim a new one. See how it's automatically claiming when I run into new land? Very good, very good. We'll claim all this. We'll claim some of the water as well. Um, I'll try and claim it in a square. I think the square goes up to about here. Then I run over this way. Still claiming. Very good. I do have quite a lot of power, as you can see, just by myself. So we'll claim all this. Run up here, make sure this is claimed. This is claiming from my faction, so that's not from Wilderness. That's good, we got all that. And we'll run over here, make sure this is claimed. Yep, from Wilderness, very good, very good. We'll get this chunk just in front of us here as well, if we can. Yep, from Wilderness, good, good, good. This is a fairly big base, as you saw, everywhere I just ran then was in protected zone because it's claiming it from Wilderness, as you can see. And I can do slash F map at the end to make sure I got a square, because I might not have got a square. Here we go, slash F map. Yeah, there we go. I got a fairly good square. I went one too far that direction and two too far that way. I think that was the desert direction and this was the direction I'm heading in now. Let's see what happens. Which way of my square moves when I move this way? Slash F map. Yeah, see now I've claimed that extra one there. Alright. Well, we can fix that by running this way now, will it? Will that claim the rest of it into a square? From wilderness? And the last square will be here, and then we'll have a perfect square. Let's see if I worked that out correctly. If I did, hey, it's the genius using auto claim to claim a perfect square. Slash F map. There we go, guys. 
Got myself a perfect square. I don't actually, there might be another little offset at the bottom there, but at least we got a square from Wilderness slash F map. There we go. There is my square. That's where my base is going to be built in those four squares, four claims in the middle. And then I've got a claim protecting it on all sides. So that's very nice. I'm going to turn slash auto claim off now and run to the middle of this. If this is the corner of the square, somewhere roughly around here, I'll just mark that out. Then our base will have to be built somewhere in the middle here. And I'm not actually going to build it this episode because there is a lot of stuff to build in a base and it will take a while. I'm actually going to try and recruit some help from you guys. So if you're watching this, make sure to jump on the server. IP is always in the description. And send me some messages if you're online you want a trial for a for the match, like to get into the faction. Because I'm definitely looking for people. I especially want people to help with the base building because that does take a lot of time and it's... It's a bit hard to record that type of stuff because manually placing a million blocks building up to sky level isn't the funnest thing. But I'll do it on stream and I'll also recruit some people on stream. So next episode you'll see me with a faction with a few people and a base hopefully. So that'll be good. And I did have some other things to talk about actually. We'll head over to spawn. The thing, other things I wanted to talk about is we got, I finally found someone else to help me with the Pixelmon servers. They're being revamped, updated and released. So you can check them out in the description if you're interested in Pixelmon, they'll be amazing. We have a new kit PvP plugin, which will be if you type slash hub, and it'll be on this thing here, this one, OP kit PvP, or if you go through that portal. We're currently working on that. It is relying on Cooper's plugin skills, so as long as his plugin skills um, are as good as he say they are, that server should be up within the week, so you can do team battles and 1v1s. That'll be cool, OP kit PvP there. So I might even be doing some of my series on that server if it turns out good. And I actually had a rank to give away. But we'll go back to the PvP server. Server PvP. And I am going to jump in admo admin mode in a second. Because I want to hide another chest for you guys. Because I know you loved that. I got a lot of comments going, um, Oh, Hades, I missed the chest, but I saw the guy. I was hunting him down. I nearly got him. I'm like, good job, man. <laughs> So someone got some good loot last episode, and if you're watching this, you got to keep your eyes peeled. As soon as I put down this chest, you want to jump over to it and get onto the server as quick as you can, so you can pick up the good loot. Let's go speed. I didn't set a home on my base. No. Yeah! Slash back worked! Donator command's too good! Set home. Home. Whew. Nearly forgot about that. That was lucky. Well, we're going to hide the chest out somewhere around here. That'll be more interesting. It already TP'd me really far out. So there you go. I have, do have to go vanish again so we don't get spammed too much. Because people send me actually um, personal information about donations and stuff. So I want to try and hide that because I think I ran into that problem when I was streaming. I was like, don't message me that now, man. About 100 people are watching. You send your personal details. Please do not do that. So do not send it to me in the server, guys. Any questions to do with anything like that, just click on Bycraft and there's a support email. I've got my personal support email that handles any problems with donations so we can make sure we get that sorted for you. And also the contact button on the website emails all of the staff so we can help you out with unban requests or anything server related. So do not message me in game, make sure to use the forums, the contact on the forums and the Bycraft email if you want to contact me and other staff. That's the best way guys. Alright, so we're going to hide a chest. Where is the chest? Hades, you've done it again. There we go. So I'll hide this chest somewhere, and while I'm hiding that, I'm going to announce the winner of last episode's rank giveaway. And of course, we're doing another rank giveaway this episode. All you have to do is write IGN, and then your in-game name, just like that. And then a short message like, Hey Hades, I saw your live stream when you fell off the Splag Arena. You got owned. Write something like that so I know you're a fan. Something that proves that you watch my videos, or interact with the servers, or... Maybe you really need a rank for some particular reason. Just send me that in the comment section below. You have a chance to win. I'll pick a random winner every episode. And the winner for this episode, who commented on the last video, is Big Purple Pankies. I don't know if I said that right, but your name will be probably up on screen. If not, you'll get a rank when you log into the server anyway. So congratulations, man. And hopefully you enjoy your free rank. I don't know what rank you are, but... I'm hoping you didn't have a rank because it's always better to give it to someone who can't afford a rank or just really wants one for some reason. So there you go. Hopefully you get yourself a or you do get yourself a free rank. What am I saying? Congratulations, man. Enjoy, enjoy. And yeah, let's hide this chest. 
So you guys can find it. It's not slash F map. Make sure it's not claimed. It's not claimed. All right. Let's make it hard for you guys. Let's put it underwater. Will you guys find the chest under the water? Here we go. Bam, right there. That is going to be the biggest pain in the ass. And do you know what you get? You get all this junk right there. And you get a kit god. Let's put this kit god in there. See, look at that. Protection for unbreaking three. That's some good stuff. And a golden apple. There you go, guys. There it is. Go find it before someone else does. Because everyone will want that chest. And it might stay hidden there forever. I will make it a little bit easier for you to find. So if you are following me, just dig right there. Pause the video. That piece of stone is where you want to start digging. Go for it, guys. Find where I went. I flew from my F home. So if you find my old base, which I showed the coordinates on screen, you can find your way here fairly easy if you've got the smart. So there you go, guys. Free god kit in that chest. Go and get it. What am I going to finish off this episode with? I reckon I will try and find a 1v1 and I'll try and find a raid. Um, whatever I find first, I'm just going to cut to it and we're going to jump straight into the action. So I'll see you guys in a second once I've found a 1v1 or a raid. Alright guys, I found myself a raid. Apoc generously offered it to me in chat. But before I go, I do want to stock up on some TNT. Just to show that I'm not just scabbing off his resources and I'll actually bring some of my own at least. So let's go slash ender chest. You always want to put in your ender chest when you're TPing to raids just in case you die. Because you don't want to be stuck out there with nothing and then get totally owned. Like if they kill you when you TP and they steal your loot. So you don't want to go with anything important but TP accept. The teleport request is timed out. Message APOC. Oh, wait, what's his name? XX. i got to do the XX. Please don't add XXs in front of your name. TP again. He said he's setting up the cannon, so hopefully we didn't miss out on too much. We'll see what he's up to. Come on. TP accept. And when you get TP to raid, guys, please always bring your TNT. I hate it when people are like, oh, I'll help you. They TP and they're like, I don't know how to make cannons, and I don't have any TNT, and YOLO swag. And I'm like, cool, man. Cool, man. Definitely cool. Alright, we'll get out. It looks like it's safe. They didn't gank me as soon as I came in, so I'll take out one of my diamond picks. I'll just double check that I don't have any permissions. Oh, I do have permissions. We'll make sure they're off. Um, I've disabled admin bike pass mode. Can they do it here? Whoopsie. Okay, I better not mine anything here. Oh, they can build there, yeah. I, I don't have any extra permissions. I just saw him place blocks there. So this is obviously not protected. But I wonder where they're shooting the TNT at, though, if this isn't protected. Why aren't they just mining it? Interesting. We'll see, we'll see. Where can these guys hit up to? Is this... Slash F map? Oh, so we're not quite there. The base is over this way. Why aren't they building the cannon closer? Slash F map? Yeah, we're getting closer, 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 closer. No, we're getting further away. Oh, maybe it's that direction! Maybe I totally screwed this up and they're actually shooting the other direction. Oh, they are shooting the other direction. Look, you can already see the TNT hole. Hades massive derp. What are they making here? This looks like... Hey, how much is that? Eight? An eight TNT dispenser in the water. Which looks like they're even going to have like a hybrid cannon design here. Is this one shooting out sand? If this is shooting out sand, or this is pushing the sand down... That's even more OP. And these will all be filled up with TNT. Very nice, very nice. Let's see what they've got down here. This must be the protected land. Yeah, this is protected by Swag Lords. So that's who we're raiding, Swag Lords. Oh, very... Yeah, now I see. They did build right up to the border, because this is the border of their land. And this is where you can build, so... Oh, some redstone there. Let's pretend I was con contributing and I bought my own redstone as well. <laughs> yeah, Alright, where are they? What do they need? Let's see what they need. Well, they haven't got their own ender chests. And they got their own... Whoa! These guys have come prepared. They got tons of sand for the hybrid cannon. I'm assuming they're building a hybrid cannon. They got lots of redstone. There you go. I'll donate to that pile. And they got... They got stacks on stacks of TNT. Hades the poor kid brings 15 TNT. And these guys... They've even got cobwebs. So they might be going for the slow falling sand. Um, hybrid cannon. They shoot the sand into the cobwebs and they slowly fall and they shoot off. 
We'll see what they do. We'll see what setup they're going with. There is a, a lot of different types of TNT cannons. I've actually got a redstone video showing off like all the best types. So if you are interested in learning about that, I won't... I'll try and explain it in this video, but... You guys could also just stop this video and look at the recording and re-watch it if you want to make this for yourself. Wow. Nice, bro. Yeah, so you can either stop the recording watch it for yourself, or you could go watch my redstone tutorial series. Because i got a really good... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. GG, Hades is shoot it up the... Uh oh! Okay, Hades fail. Oh my god, now Hades is stuck in here. Hades, number one raider there ever was. Let's get myself some dirt. There's everyone dying now. What did I do? What a noob. There should be stairs made all the way up here. Let's look at all the people that fell. <laughs> Let's patch that up for them so no one else falls. Alright. Now, I want to get a bird's eye view of this so you guys can see exactly... That's what he's doing, he's mining it again! The shifty bugger. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it looks like he's putting them all on full delay. He's got one repeater just feeding into these, so you can set off both at once. That'll be the reason behind that. And one delay repeater feeding into them, so you can set them both off at once. It looks like he's going to be lighting this with the button placed here, so that'll set off that side and that side simultaneously. And then the current will go through here, go through all the delays, then set off this one, which I'm still pretty sure they're dropping sand onto that half slab there. And they might be pushing more sand off there. I'm not 100% sure. That, that might be where the TNT gets knocked off. It's either the TNT gets knocked off this, or the sand gets knocked off this. And the TNT or the sand will be coming out here. I'm assuming it's TNT out of there, actually. And the sand will be pushed off. That would be my guess. Because you want the sand to fall through the, the cobweb if they're going to place a cobweb there. So that would make more sense, yes. Yeah. So the sand being pushed off and the TNT in that one. That's my guess, but we'll see what they do. And they've also got another delay on here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that makes sense. Exact same setup on that side. But they've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They've got 10 on this side. So 9 on that side, 10 on this side. So this one will go off first, and the TNT will be getting knocked down. And then, yep, they're pushing the sand down. And then it should launch off with the extra TNT as a hybrid cannon. The sand should block up the water there, and the TNT should still explode. So definitely a good cannon design. I would copy this one. There's not much better than this. I've seen ones that stack up more TNT per dispenser. I've seen ones that have like rapid fire dispensers. I've set one of them up before. But besides that, it's one of the best I've seen. So good job. Very good job. Let's see if they're ready to launch here. Message X X underscore A Recording ready when you are. Let's shoot as fast as possible. I'll donate some TNT. I don't actually have much money because my base hasn't really gone that far, but I have a little bit of TNT you can have, my friends. Let's go. He's got the button ready. He presses the button. TNT launches out of the first two. That piece of TNT fell down and that worked. I heard the second explosion. Looked like it worked. Let's see if they're adjusting any of the timings here. We'll recant them again just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 full delay. 1, 2... Oh, this one's not full delay. So 1 not full and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So what they added is an extra 3 ticks before the sand falls down. So that comes out and 3 ticks later the sand falls down. So the TNT comes out, 3 ticks later the sand falls down. And don't stand that close to the cannon because I nearly got owned. He says we're in, and they're shooting another one. We'll follow them. We don't want to steal their loot. Very nice. You can see it exploding in the background. Boom! You saw that? I saw it, and that's all that matters. We've got to feed up, actually. What kit do we have on? Oh, we don't have any armor on! Shit, bricks! <laughs> Let's go... Um, what have I got? Oh, I need a... I've got iron. Good enough, good enough. Iron armor should at least protect me from this, and I've got a splash potion of healing. And I've also got ender pearls. they'll come in handy. Night vision! Looks like that they definitely came prepared. Did they chuck me one of these? Oh wow, that makes it look terrible, but whatever. Whoa, dudes! That's nice. Looks like they're just gonna keep pressing it, shooting as far as possible. I don't know if I can get past the lava though. 
with my terrible armor. That's no good. We can always end a pearl over there though. I just want to make sure they're not shooting more TNT. Looks like they're loading it up with more. Alright. Don't shoot TNT while I'm over here. Oh, look at their base. So it looks like they had double layer of water. One layer of half slabs around the outside. And then a layer of fence. And then a layer of... What is that? They got it half slabs on the top. And then stone brick in there. So they had a fairly detected base, but their cannon is making quick work of that. I just want to swim up. Oh, they... Nope, they didn't... It doesn't go up to anywhere. Just underground somewhere. Whoa! That TNT just flew straight past me. We want to get in the base real quick. Oh, look at this loot! They're in! They're in the chest room! <laughs> GG! They're blowing up Alina's and... I didn't know whose base this was. This is Matthias and Alina's and Connor's and all the Hadescraft staff's base. <laughs> oh, owned. I had no idea. That is the absolute ownage. Oh, if only we could get upstairs. Oh, biggest fail ever. Look at that TNT cannon. That actually goes a fair distance. I'm impressed with that. I'm, and I'm glad that we have the claim restrictions that we do. Because any further, really, and that cannon wouldn't have been able to get in here. So I am really glad that it, just, it made it in here. But they may need to raise it up a block or two if they want to get some more damage. And that'll be a massive pain, moving that whole... Uh, moving that whole um, setup out there, the redstone hybrid cannon. Up a block will be a massive pain. That hit the chest. Bam. Didn't make it. The sand must have fell early or something. Damn it. We want some loot. We want loot. We want loot. <laughs> oh, this, this actually turned out to be a fairly good raid. Although I didn't do much myself, we did learn a lot for all of you people who are new. The sand, see the sand's falling there. And it needs to be where the TNT explodes, I believe, for it to bypass the water. So, I don't know what's going on there, but does this go... Well, I don't want to get in the way of the TNT, but does this go downstairs more? Uh, looks like this is the bottom floor, but there's a floor above. Can we use the anvil? We can't use the anvil in this territory. Let's check out above, see what's up here. And if, if nothing, if we don't get any chests, at least we're destroying some stuff. So, let's go have a look up the top here, have a look at their base. Ching. Lucky someone gave me ender pearls. I don't know where I got these from. So they are making some damage up here. Looks like they have a potion set up. Or we can access the hoppers. Nice, nice, but they got nothing in here, unfortunately. They've got all their pots up here, so that'll be somewhere good to hit. No! I fell down. Hades the noob. Let's end up her back up. Alright. Let's see what else they've got here. They have, like, their little spawn point, where I'm guessing their F home is. They got some more potions, brewing stands. This looks like the potion room. It just looks like all their potions go in there. They got an automatic, or just sorting out of brewing stands over there. More sorting out ones here. And it looks like they got automatic ones here. This one should have stuff stuff in it. Yeah, it's got like water bottles in it. Because you should always have this stocked up so then you can make them automatic and pump out some some goodies. I don't know if I should be able to mess with them. Oh, I don't have admin powers on, so anyone must be able to mess with them. Unlucky. Owned. Let's see what they've got. We need a loot. Come on, give us, give us a potion. Who doesn't keep their automatic potion makers stocked? Serial sniper. Ender pearls up as well. Welcome. Oh well. Looks like we're not gonna... Oh. What were they fuzzing? Give me some loot. We want loot. We want loot. And did they get anything down here? Oh, they got a piece of sand there. That's promising. That means that that should have exploded. I have a feeling they will need to move the cannon up more though. They will need to move it up more to get the distance. Because I get... They're landing sand. Why did I fall off that while crouching? Is it because it's a half slab? If it is, I'm calling bullshit on that. Let's crouch over this. No, I don't fall off that. Maybe it's because... It was two half slabs in a row? I don't know, I shouldn't have fell off that. Let's try crouching off this. Oh, you can! What the hell? If you're crouching, you walk off a half slab onto another half slab, it doesn't stop you from falling off the block. Well, Hades just worked out the best prank ever for a parkour. You build the parkour with two half slabs, and you make it so you have to, like, crouch while looking over the edge, and you put a half slab there, and people will just keep walking off and fall. Because that's absolutely bullshit. You shouldn't be able to fall off when you're holding shift. 
But anyway, that's something interesting. Learning, learning new stuff, guys. If you watch these Hagecraft PvP series, you're learning something new every episode. I guarantee it. Definitely learning something new. So we're stocking up with sand in here. We're making a good hole in the roof. We got some sand here. Whose side is this? Matthias's? If that side was Alina's. This side, who else is in their faction? Well, we can't see because it's got the um, new UIDs because of the new thing Mojang did. Thanks, Mojang. Wankers. <laughs> Joking. Love you, Mojang. Don't ban me from all servers. What the hell hit me then? Serial sniper hit me. I've got an iron kit, bro. You want to come at me? Take a free hopper. I'm donating to you guys. Did I... I wonder if they have any more enderpearls because I kind of want to enderpearl out and see what's going on there. Drifter wants the TP. Sorry, bro. Drifter was... Actually, we modded him in the last faction, so I might invite him to this new one. I will invite him. Let's invite Drifter, because he was being a good bro, and he's been in all my live streams, he's been in all my videos. We will invite Drifter to the faction without having to win a PvP battle, only because he was helping out a lot. But from now on, only PvP battles are getting. And this raid is starting to slow down a bit. So I will be right back if we start making any more progress. I'm probably going to go out there and recommend and help him move the cannon up a block. Or maybe down a block or something. Because we need to hit something else. We're just building up with sand here and it's not really getting anywhere. So I'll be right back. I'll tell him what I recommend for the change and I'll see if it works. Alright guys, we're back and they took my suggestion and moved the whole cannon up a block. So hopefully this fixes the problem we're running into. And I also wanted to talk a bit more about the cannon because when I first saw it I was a bit off by how I was describing it because it's been so long since I've actually had to build a cannon for myself. It's like six months or something since my last PvP series. So I did want to explain something. All these TNT at the back here, they're just the amount of distance you want the front one to be shot. So if you have like four behind it, it'll shoot this TNT even further. So that's why they're here. And we're currently only shooting one piece of TNT at a time out of this dispenser. Now the, the thing I said mentioned before, how you can rapid fire them, is still possible. You can still make a little redstone ultra fast circuit here. And it pumps out like three TNT per, per shot, per redstone signal. So that does let you shoot more TNT. But when mixing it with a hybrid cannon with the sand falling down, I don't know how effective it is. It's at least as, as as effective as one, so it can't hurt. If you have extra TNT, it's probably worth making the really fast signal, the repeater here, just to spam as much TNT out as possible, because it can't hurt. All it'll do is help, so that's something else you might want to add to it. But yeah, this is definitely a really good cannon here. And I'm actually, I want to shoot one off if they don't mind me pressing it once. I'm just going to press it, see what happens. Bam. And for your... We'll feed and we'll go see if that's working out. Because they're obviously in a Skype call, but I'm not. So I don't, I've got to go end of pearl over here. See if it's working. Oh, looks like we're, we're hitting different blocks, but did we hit any chests? I don't know. Did any chests back here get hit? Not yet. Not yet. Alright, let's see where this TNT is landing. It might even need to be adjusted once again. Or maybe it's hitting up in the roof now, because we did move it up a block. Um, no, that's a still the same damage as there was last time. Alright. Let's see. Let's see if they can get this. Come on, shoot another, shoot another TNT. Do they have any? I'm going to donate them my remaining TNT, because I've kind of been scabbing off them this time. I don't know who to give it to, though. Let's give it to, just drop them here for Serial Sniper. There you go, bro. Just have the, have the just TNT for free. I know you've probably shot like a stack by now. And you might have just blown it up by entities, but... There you go. At least you got some TNT from me. And it was a good watch, so thank you to everyone on screen here. Jamie Crombie, Boston, Serial Sniper, APOC. Nice, nice. Thanks for inviting me along this raid. Now, we did just destroy some more blocks there. That's looking promising. That could make some more damage here. Maybe if we... Why is it light up there? That's weird. Oh well. Anyway, if we made some more damage on that top left hand side, maybe we could get into the same damage we did on this side, but hopefully better luck on this side. Although it, does, it is still pretty hard to get to these chests. I wonder what they have in them. If they had something good, 
then we would actually, it would definitely be worth raiding, but I don't know what they have, so these guys could be wasting all their TNT. And, oh, that one landed there, but it didn't stick with the um, sand. I think it's because it's going through water. Now, that might be a tactic for your base. If you're building your own base, um, do you see how these guys, what they did on the outside, they put... Let me just get out of here. Uh, see how they put double water, then the fence post, then the stone brick? Maybe you would be better off doing um, three layers of water, one layer of fence post in between. So you go water, fence post, water, and then another fence post and stone brick wall. Because then it has to go through another layer of air. And I think that's what's stopping the sand here. I think the sand continues, but the TNT doesn't. That one did. That one worked. So that's awkward. The one time I'm trying to prove a point, it works. But the last hundred didn't work. And I think that's because of it go going through water, going through air, and then the TNT... And the sand split up for some reason here. We'll try and watch it again. See if we can pinpoint exactly what's happening. Come on, TNT. I don't want it to hit me in the face, but there we go. This looks like a good spot. It lights up. Alright, shoot the TNT. We're ready. Recording mode on. And we're drowning. Drowning mode activated. Here we go. We're just... No. Oh my god. What the hell? What the fuck? Okay, Hayes is good at the game. GG. Let's go get another kit and we'll be back. <laughs> How did I drown there? I saw the, um... I thought I was in like a little air pocket. I swam to an air pocket. But apparently not. Hades, number one. In the world. TP back. Message. XX underscore TP. Message. Serial. S-E-R. Oh, we'll just accept this TP, whatever. That's TP accept. No player found. What do you mean? Oh, you gotta get rid of the space. My bad. Alright, we're back here. Nice, nice little pile of my stuff. Thanks, guys. I bet they didn't want to steal it because it's so good, all the loot I had. There we go. Back to watching. Shoot another one. Message XX underscore epoch. Shoot more. Smiley face. We gotta get out of the water. I'm not drowning this time, you dodgy game. So, yeah. Um, when he starts shooting him, I'll try and get that shot, and if this continues on for too long, we're just going to wrap up the episode, but we'll wait for one more TNT, so we can try and see what's happening to the sand, and see why it's falling quicker, or actually the sand's going further than the TNT. See, the TNT hit that, and then fell down, but the, sa the sand also fell down there, but it looks like it only blew up one block. That was also working, so they might be onto something here. No, see, the sand wasn't with that. Where did the sand go in that situation? Let's watch it again. We'll get a good angle from up here. Come on, keep keep them coming. Let's see if we can pinpoint exactly what's happening with this cannon. So we might be able to give him a recommendation before we wrap this episode up. There we go. Team T made it. Sand did not... Hmm. Alright. Well, I'm not sure what's to go with that. But the problem is the sand is not making it. So we'll have one look from this side, and then we'll wrap this episode up. Let's see what happens. Go. Shoot. Fire. Fire. He's not firing. Fire. <laughs> Exclamation mark. Attack. Attack the base. Then there's no TNT coming. Well, that was a very undramatic thing. See, the team the T was going quicker than the sand there. Hmm. And the sand fell down and hit here while the team T went in. So the team T went further than the sand there. You might be able to do change something with the adjustments. Maybe you could make the TNT shoot a little bit closer to when the sand drops. Or maybe you can make the delay longer in the sand drop, or shorter, I'm not sure which one. But the delay does need to be changed so the sand gets dropped and shot at the same rate as the TNT. See how the TNT is going first in the sand, so that is the problem. So they might need to adjust the timer, I'll mention that to them. And hopefully we can continue raiding this base. But that's all I have for you this episode guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. The first raid, I'd like to thank everyone involved in this. Don't forget to check out my live streams in the comment section below. 
in the description below. Also, enter that rank giveaway by liking the video, subscribing, writing your in-game name, and don't forget to be online as much as you can on the server to get in those duels so you can join my faction. After all that, that's about it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.